Alrighty, we are back with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories for the PlayStation 1 here. And of course, we just beat it. We just beat my last episode. She's a little salty about a crab, but who cares? One thing I don't like about Yu-Gi-Oh! is I hate when you play against professional Yu-Gi-Oh! players and they get this one turn where they always have this one card in their hand and you just be like, like uh, kind of judging them like, why do you have this card? Why are you not playing it? And then they get another card that comes with that one card they have in their hand. Then next thing you know, they're setting up a whole play the whole fucking turn. You don't even get a turn. You just lose. I hate when playing against players like that. They know what the fuck they're doing and have a move set where they just keep drawing and discarding cards. And I think it's mainly when they involved uh, XZs and Pendulum monsters into the to the whole equation. That shit really started becoming unfair for you, Yu-Gi-Oh! players. And I really do hate how people just set up the whole turn. Like, you don't even get a turn. They just keep setting up, drawing playing discarding rituals playing discarding spell cards equip cards field cards you don't even get a chance they just ruin your shit so i'm hoping that i don't run into that while playing this game uh because this game has known to been difficult at some parts i don't know exactly when but we're just gonna hop into another battle and without further ado we're about to smack some people in the face with some cards so let's let's floss on them one time fans let's get into it just talking about equip cards here we go with an equip card off the bat let's just draw one of our strongest monsters and let's see what he's capable of all right we're gonna leave him face down for now and then of course we're gonna play a spell card to equip just in case he draws anything that's overpowered um just like that whatever the hell he faced down let's not let's 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 not that get the best of us let's let let's i'm not even gonna i can't even talk so equip I have no idea what the fuck that did, but it was supposed to, it was supposed to make my monster stronger. I guess not all the equip cards make your monster stronger, but that one in particular was supposed to. I guess I haven't gotten the concept behind this game. This is my first time ever playing this game. Well, this is my second video, but still my first time ever playing this game. And so I'm quite curious on how to play. Um, got him. Fuck your skull servant. He got skull fucked. All right, let's drop out our Anthrosaurus here and see how much damage he can rack up a thousand in one hit. Basically, meaning I only gotta last seven turns in order to beat this guy. So let's 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 see if we can actually last that long. That's the that's the real hard part. It's actually lasting that long. We're going to go with Jupiter. See what Jupiter does. And we're going to see if we lose here. Okay, we managed to beat him. Alrighty. That's another turn that's gone by. And we're about to rack up double the damage. Anthrosaurus, fuck him up. Alright, let's go. School Stalker, attack. Uh. Yeah, I'm telling you. I played the GBA version of this game. And it was just awful. But I'm going to hope that shit changes now. So I do have quite the weak deck. So we're going to use somebody as a defense pawn here. This guy has the highest defense. Let's go ahead and set him down right there. And he is going to be our defense pawn. Let's drop him down. And let's go ahead and have our white dolphin guy attack. Because they never really have enemies that are over 500. I guess I'm too early in the game to really go against powerful ass opponents but i know later on in the game they're gonna start catching up to me and i'm gonna do every episode basically um by uh every duel i do um so mechanical spider more damage i'm gonna leave him face up i guess i do have a lot of cards and there's no way in hell you can wipe all of them out unless he has like a, a mirror force which in that case if i do attack him he will wipe out all of my face up cards so i doubt he has that and so I'm going to exploit him for his weakness by basically racking up the damage on him. And uh, we're going to go ahead and tackle the car I just faced down. Okay, it was enough. And it looks like we got another victory, fans. These battles are really short. Really short. I guess the AI is not very intelligent at this point, or I just haven't set my settings to difficult. Because this is quite easy. There's, there's difficult... And there's NES difficult, and this is not NES difficult. This is like SNES beginner difficult, which isn't difficult at all. But get the fuck out of here. Take that D. You just took the straight L to the dome. I win. 
And I will see you guys next time, of course, with another battle. Sorry these are going to be short, but I don't want to go battle after battle because then I might get too hooked and then I might not end up uh, LPing this game. might just end up playthroughing it the whole game. And so let's talk to somebody else. We got a new motherfucker, but before we deal with his ass, I will see you guys next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have, make sure like, subscribe, give us a feedback. And as always, fans, till next time, this video is also sponsored by Rush Gaming and DU Recorder. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.